Well, you guys got another video here for you on five USB boot drives to repair your computer for free. Quite a few people ask me to share the link for my own WinPE. Unfortunately, I can't do that because it has a lot of my own software on it, which I've paid for and it's registered to me. So I won't be sharing that with you. So you can either create your own or you can use someone else's creation. It's entirely up to you. I would recommend you build your own and uh, put your own applications in. This is called Hiram's Boot CD PE. It's not the same creator who created Hiram's Boot CD, I don't think, but this is the WinPE version of that. It does come with a load of applications on here. They have just done a major update on it, and uh, I haven't really looked at it, and I don't uh, use any of these WinPEs. I use my own uh, creation, and that way I put the applications in that I need. I don't have vast amounts of stuff on mine, I just have the stuff that I would use on a regular basis. So who would need a WinPE? Well, everyone. It's a pretty useful uh, thing to have. You can back up data. You can do date recovery. You can do password resets on here. You can do uh, diagnosis. You can check your hard drives. You can do malware scans, all that sort of good stuff. Now, what I would suggest you do if you want to reset passwords, you can use something like this. Very simple and easy to do. But what you don't need is 10 different uh, backup programs to back up your computer. So you only need one. All this is going to do is make the ISO bigger. And you really don't need multiple different types of programs to do the same thing. So this is where I think a lot of these ISOs are probably a bit pointless because there's just too much bloat in them. Just keep it very minimal. You don't need lo loads of stuff on it. If you need to do a quick scan on your computer, there's the ESET online scanner here. Very useful for scanning for malware. You can even use this to boot to a PC that is infected. And because you're not booting uh, to the actual desktop of that computer and you're booting up to a Windows pre-installed environment, you'll be able to manually do a scan with this and also go in and remove any sort of malware manually if you know what you're doing and also back up any data that you might want to back up using this particular WinPE. The next one someone wanted me to take a look at is called MC Boot. I think the creator is from Vietnam. I'm not 100% sure, but it's very well made and there's lots of good software on here for PC repair. As you can see, there's all your usual stuff that you would need like uh, partitioning software. Also, you've got backup software, data recovery software, you can also do some diagnosis for your drives using Crystal Disk Info. Yes, it's saying VMware there because I'm booting to the ISO itself, but you would normally see a computer's hard drive right here and it will tell you whether the drive is failing. So it's quite useful for that. You can do memory testing on here and all that sort of good stuff with this WinPE. My only concern is some of the software on here looks like it's paid software and that's something I would not condone or recommend. Same thing goes for this one here, which is called NHV Boot, which is someone told me to take a look at. I think this one is from Asia as well. Again, it's really nicely put together. It looks very similar to MC Boot. In fact, it looks exactly the same, but a few changes done to it. And this could be a fork of MC Boot. I really don't know. And again, I don't know the origin of it 100%. When I looked around, there were some really useful applications in here. There's a heap of portable applications, which I'm a little bit concerned whether they're legit or not. But again, there's way too many than what you need on this uh, particular WinPE. Another one people asked me to look at was Sergi's one, which has got Windows uh, 10 PE and Windows 11 PE built into one. It does keep this updated. Now, there's a lot of programs on this that are all the same. So for instance, you might have 20 different backup programs. I'm not 100% sure why you'd need that many. And it's the same right the way through. A lot of WinPE creators do this, and it's a bit pointless if you ask me. There's only so many applications that you would need on a WinPE. All the rest is just filler, and it's just going to make it larger. And some of the applications do look paid. So here we have another one, ANHDV. This is another one. They do a free version and a premium version on this particular one. I'm not sure what the difference is between the two. There is a, a free version which you can use. I think some of the applications don't work or are not uh, running on the free version. 
But you can see it's pretty well made. There's a lot of applications on here which you can use for uh, drive management, partition management, and things like that. Also data recovery, backing up, same as all the other programs. You only need one of these really if you're going to be doing uh, PC repair. Now, a few weeks ago, I made a video showing you how to create your own WinPE. And what I advise you to do is download your own portable apps from portableapps.com. These are all releases that are legal and respect trademark and law and have agreements with software companies so they can use portable applications like this. And you can use them for your own use on your own builds. Now, I can hear people screaming at the screen right now saying, why didn't you mention Medicat? It's probably one of the best. Unfortunately, it's massive and there's tons of applications in here and probably way more than what you actually need. So I would keep it very minimal and uh, that way you're not having to download a huge file like Medicat has to offer. So other than that, you can use Ventoy to boot to all your ISOs. So once you download them, you can select all of your ISOs that you want to put into your USB flash drive using Ventoy, and it will choose which one you want to boot up to. You don't need 100 different types of uh, WinPEs. You only need one. So my advice always is to create your own. That way you can create your own custom uh, WinPE with your own wallpaper and everything else. You can even put a password on it. So you have to type the password in to log into that ISO. That way, if you forget it and leave it around a customer's house, they can't log in and get access to it. Let me know in the comments section below whether you use a WinPE. I'll be happy to read your comments. Also, let me know if there's one that I missed that you think is pretty decent and I should take a look at. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. And I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.